welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 2. When we last left off, we had just liberated Trista. And took back Thor's military academy. I'm so happy to finally be back. And looking around, I'm not alone in that sentiment either. Maybe it won't last, but everyone's determined to enjoy it to the fullest while they can. After all, who knows what tomorrow will bring. I knew things wouldn't instantly go back to normal, but I didn't expect all that to be thrown on us. Five hours earlier. You want us to help liberate the capital? With Ruhr and Berea hard silent, we have a firm foothold to take back Heimdall. If we don't seize the moment before the year is up, there's every chance the war will drag on even longer as a result. Fighting is still brutal as ever in Western Erebonia, but if the Nortia and Kreutzen provincial armies keep their word not to interfere, they may be able to turn the war around. Hmm. That does sound like the best chance we'll ever get, but I still have doubts. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. We have no intention of taking an active role in the war. We simply wish to fulfill our duties as military academy students. That sounds perfectly fine to me. We aren't asking you to fight on the front lines to retake the city. Rather, we would like you, the students of Thor's military academy, to liberate one very specific location. Yeah? And where might that be? I'll be the one explaining that. Y you're here too? You're from the Intelligence Division. Huh. Hi, Elector. Long time no see. You back from Crossbell? Captain Lecter Arundel. Yep. The most pressing problem over there is all taken care of now. So, I was finally able to access the Intelligence Division's network again. Wait a second. Most pressing problem? What happened over there? Oh, uh, you know, that Azure Tree is gone. There was a ton of confusion after its disappearance, but President Kreuss has been arrested, and things are beginning to calm down. We had no idea. I remember feeling an incredible amount of mana from that tree. 
whatever happened there, it's obvious Ouroboros was involved. Regardless of how it came to happen, the fact remains. Crossbell is of no danger to us now. Yet with that comes new dangers on the horizon. What do you mean, Dad? Now that Crossbell is no longer a threat, there's every chance the Calvert Republic might make a move, is that correct? The Republic still has its own share of chaos as a result of their economic crisis and terrorism. But now that there's an opening to take Crossbell, we've no doubt they will recover sooner rather than later. And without Gorelia Fortress, there's always the possibility they could use Crossbell as a staging area to launch a military incursion into Erebonia. As a result, our primary concern is ending this war as soon as possible. And we could use your assistance in bringing it to an ever swifter conclusion. I understand the situation. In that case, where is this specific location that you'd like us to liberate? That would be the Corel Imperial Villa. Hey, isn't that... That's the Imperial family's villa on the outskirts of the city, right? Are you suggesting that my family is at the villa? We believe your assumption to be correct, Your Highness. The Intelligence Division has established that His Imperial Majesty and the rest of your family have been imprisoned there. Lady Elise Schwarzer and Imperial Governor Regnitz are also with them. <gasps> Dad's there too? They've been there this whole time? It's close to the capital, but it's surrounded on all sides by cliffs and the like. That makes it the perfect place to keep VIPs hidden away. Exactly. The only way to access it via land is a special train that runs from Heimdall Station, and that is currently heavily secured by the Imperial Guard. However, were your party to use the Courageous to fly there, you should be able to get inside. I think you already know our answer. Yeah, I'm in. If you say they're there, Lecter, then they're there! It's not much different from liberating Ruwer or the Twin Dragon's Bridge, if we think of it like rescuing someone related to us. Indeed. While the Imperial family is naturally of great importance, rescuing a member of the Board of Directors fits our motives to a T. And we've always seen it as our duty to help those related to the Academy. Guess that settles that. Uh, thank you. I truly appreciate it. Well, aren't we being humble? <laughs> this is what friends do. To think these kids would turn out to be so dependable. You're telling me. They're almost dazzling. <laughs> your Highness, may we have your permission to move forward? Yes, by all means. I, Alfin Rice Arner, humbly request that you carry out this mission. Very well, your highness. Students of Thor's Military Academy, I hereby declare that we shall dedicate our all to the liberation of the Corral Imperial Villa. It really is strange. For all I know, tomorrow could determine the outcome of this war. And yet I feel completely at peace, just being back here Seeing the sky and being surrounded by this cool air makes me feel so happy. Why? You're not planning on standing here alone the whole night, are you? Oh, hey Celine. Where's Emma? Who knows? I'm guessing she's over in the literature club's room. One of the second years dragged her off. Something about checking if any of her precious book collection had vanished. <laughs> that would be Dorothy. I don't know. I could wander around, but my head's kind of full at the moment. It's like it's suddenly registering just how much this academy means to me. I knew I liked it, but I never realized how much. Oh, well, whatever you end up doing tonight, make it count. With both Vita and Ouroboros involved, you haven't seen the worst this war has to offer. The hardest part's yet to come. And you don't want to face your friend in the goofy bandana weighed down by regrets, do you? True enough. Oh, hey, are you here because you were worried about me? You've always been so considerate of us, even if you do try to hide it by acting grumpy half the time. <sighs> Stop that! You can't go around being nice to every girl you run into. Try treating someone special for once. Surely there's someone who fits that description better than me. Someone special, huh? This could be the last night you have to enjoy before everything goes to hell. 
go and walk around a bit already. Oh, and go pay Valimar a visit too. Huh. Honestly, anyone with half a brain could have figured that out. Why do I have to be the one to tell you? I suppose she's right. It seems a shame to waste a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity standing around here alone. Besides, it's been a long time since I was last here at the Academy. I should walk around and see everyone. I've got a lot of catching up to do with the people in Trista, and after Valimar offered to stand guard near the west exit, it wouldn't feel right to leave him by himself the whole night. You can now use quick travel in Trista and the Academy. Well, let's get started looking around, huh? Oh, you guys are all up here? Hi, Rain. Hey. Nice night, isn't it? Uh, it's a little on the chilly side, but it still feels pretty nice since there's no breeze out. Oh yeah, you're right. Here. Yeah, got to admit, seeing it again's making me feel all emotional. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Especially since, unlike the rest of us, you guys were last here during the festival. You're probably feeling lonely with Crow missing. Toa? George, Angelica, I want to thank you. Huh? What for? You guys have helped us out so much. There's no way we could have gone that far without you. If it were just us first years, I don't think things would have gone half as well. So, on behalf of everyone here, thank you for everything you've done. <laughs> we should be the ones thanking you. Yeah. Think about all the work Class 7 put into this and try saying that again. Exactly. You guys even helped me deal with my old man. Where would I be without you? I guess. But for the record, we've needed you just as much as you say you need us, you know. You shouldered the most responsibility on the Courageous. The ship that carried us and our dreams this far. And I'm gonna need you to keep watching our backs tomorrow. You think you can do that for us? <laughs> like you even had to ask. We'll be right there with you. We would never abandon you after we've come this far together. Thanks. I get this feeling like tomorrow's going to mark a turning point for us. Whether the Imperial Army's operation is a success or a failure, it feels like the time for me to fight Crow is almost here. That's true. <laughs> yeah, he won't let a chance like this just waltz on by. And this time, I'm not going to let him win. I'll beat him, drag him right back here, and force him to finally graduate with you. <laughs> you sure that's even possible, Reen? That's not going to be... I'm well aware that it won't be easy, but everyone, not just me, wants the four of you together again. Class 7 managed to reunite, right? Now it's your turn. You're amazing, Reen. And if you say that's what you're gonna do, I've got no reason to doubt you. Good luck! <laughs> Tomorrow's operation is sounding crazier by the minute. Seriously. I better hope I can finish polishing off that Tachi. Their conversation finally finished. Toa went back to the student council room to dutifully go over the plans for tomorrow once again. And after saying their goodbyes, George and Angelica departed for the engineering building to get tools and equipment needed to manufacture Valimar's weapon. Yep, and that's an extra thing for Crow. All right, so we got a ton of people to uh, talk to, such as Bridget. Is that you?
There's another character note updated. We gotta find Teresa. Where are you, Therese? Let's see. It says in front of the main building. Is that you? Yep. There's another character notebook updated. Let's go to the academy field. Ah, Lambert. Finally reunited with your horse. you well well instructor Mary does have a thing for uh, professor macro interesting Princess Alphen is in here as well. But I don't necessarily need to talk to her. I don't think, anyways. To the art room. Helmec, that's music. Art room. Ah, oh, she made a lion. That stone she's been working on in the hold, that's what it turned out to be. Nice. Student Union Building would be next. What do you have for us? Nothing.
Next person we want to talk to is over in the library. Ooh, there's a bunch of shinies. What do we got? I think these were all the books from the uh, first game. Because that looks like them. Hmm. What about you? What do you have for me? Gambler Jack 2 Finale. To Trista. Yes, it is. Yeah, give him Gambler Jack, too. Some Zemirian ore. That's nice. Let's talk to him again, though. And he's drunk. Character notebook updated. And we can talk to Instructor Thomas as well. <laughs> Although that Thomas, you ass. <laughs> That's great. All right. We actually need to talk to Fred here. Golden pasta recipe. Or just the golden pasta, I mean. Which I think we already was able to make. Oh, yeah. See, golden pasta. Yeah, recovers 5,000 HP. Not the recipe. I was wrong. All right. However, we are still missing that one. Now we're going to go get it. We want to go this way. Miss Lot.
The Tomato Hot Pot. That's our final one. Looks like Reen is good at making it, but I don't think that he's the one to make the finale of it. Alright, so, but with that, you'll get the um, Wartime Rationer trophy, which I just unlocked myself. We need to head over to the lower dormitory. Character notebook updated for him. And we gotta talk to Rosine. And we need to go to the Trista house. which is this one right here by the river. For the shiny. The fiery coloring. few more people to talk to. Namely... No, not you. There's one. Hugo, and there should be one more person for us to talk to, you. So after we've talked to all of them, we should be able to talk to Alfin. Let's see here. Let's go Academy, main building, first floor. Go to the principal's office here. Love. 